Hello and welcome again to A Spot of Positivity. Ah, I need that little bit of fuel to start me off. Hmm. Nice cup of tea. How are you today? Hope you're well. Um, today is Move It Monday or Move With Me Monday. I don't know. I haven't figured everything out yet. Anyway, today we talk a bit about um, body, diet, and exercise, that sort of thing. And so I think last time we were together, um, and this topic was last Monday, I talked a little bit about how I'd read the book French Women Don't Get Fat. And I think I talked a little bit about one thing that she said in there, um, which was um, if you have eaten something bigger than you want to always eat, you would choose the next day to have a little less so you compensate. I think that's kind of what I talked about. Anyway, I'd like to go on and carry on and talk a little more about that book and about some of the things that I've done that have helped me to stay slimmer or to lose weight again if I need to, that sort of thing. So I hope it encourages you. I, I am quite passionate about this topic because, well, I've had to kind of deal with it my whole life. Um, and I think I said as well, like the week before, whatever you do, don't ever start from a point of feeling like you're a failure or bad about yourself or like you're not worth it or I'm ugly so I better do something about it. That's never the place to start. Sometimes I know for myself you just have to have the right time. Sometimes all of a sudden you can do it and before that it was difficult and I know that that's the case. And I don't want to look it down at anyone who's struggled with it and just feels um, kind of paralyzed. However, if you're at a place where you think you want to do something about it, I just want to talk about a few things that have worked for me. So. Um, we're all beautiful and different body shapes are beautiful and it's okay. Um, but for me, this is what's worked. Um, and I really love this book because it appealed to my desire not to go overboard. When I was um, probably about 21, I lost a lot of weight and I was very careful what I ate. And I felt very good about myself, I must say. I felt, I was slim, I felt really good about myself. But I didn't want to enter that new thing, that way of looking at food again. Subsequently, when I put on a little bit of weight, I wanted to have a more natural approach to it. I again lost a lot of weight after my third baby and I was really strict. And that was when I did the Weight Watchers No Count. And that was like nice because I wasn't, like counting every calorie. However, again, I've fluctuated and gone up and down and things get tight on me and then I want to go back. Who wants to be get, getting new clothes because something gets tight on you? There's a lot of medical reasons stuff like that can happen, but if it's just a matter of me, am I not having like been careful, then I, I want to do something about it before I just have to buy new and bigger clothes. That's really not the way I want to live. So. I wanted to have something that would help me without being super strict and um, making me be really black and white about things. So I looked at a few things. One of them was the French women don't get fat. One of them um, was another book that had about four different principles. There's something else called the Way Down Workshop and that had sort of similar ideas. These were all approaches that were more about um, principles than um, rules and laws and things. And I like that. I was, I'm not a big, I don't know. I don't like to just go, this is what you do, that's what you do, that's what you don't do. You have this much egg white and that. I don't want to do that. I'd rather learn to self-regulate. I've got the rest of my life, actually that I want to be careful with what I eat. It's not, unfortunately, so annoying, right? You just want to lose the weight and then after that, you never have to think about it again. Well, maybe that works for some people, but not for me. I have to be careful what I do. 
So I found it more appealing to have something that would give me freedom to self-regulate. So the first thing, as I said, that I gleaned from that book, French Women Don't Get Fat, was that you you make sure that you've had a bigger treat one day, you'll try the next couple of days to have smaller amounts. You don't just think, oh, I just ate that. That's how you gain weight because somehow mentally you think, oh, well, I guess that, that was that day and I'll just be normal the next day. No. Make yourself have a little less that day. You can. You can do that. I think um, even as I was, before I started filming right now, I just looked it up again just to see what different people had said about that book. And um, one thing they compared it to was mindfulness. And I think for me, that's also really appealing. It's like um, food is a wonderful thing. It has flavors. We are so um, able to enjoy food. Like we don't just stuff it in our mouth to uh, have sustenance. We can enjoy the flavors. It's almost insulting to food just to go on and on and eat it. You want to have small bites of things. Enjoy the way it makes you feel. Enjoy the textures. Enjoy the flavors, of course. Chew it a little bit. Take a few minutes with it. That book, for instance, said don't walk around the kitchen while you're eating. Sit down, enjoy it, enjoy every bite. And so I'm just going to talk about that for a while because if you can get your head around that, doesn't sound like a very good first principle for a diet, does it? But if you can get your head around that, this is a special thing. You're having a special thing. Food, experience of food and eating and drinking is really lovely enjoy it and you can enjoy really fatty things if you like just have less of them so enjoy every bite put it in your mouth savor it enjoy it and I like that because food is good food is really really good as I said for a time from Christmas to my birthday in March I would I didn't have sweets it, it was a self, self-inflicted thing, but it was temporary. And since then, I have had stuff, but I'm trying to make sure that if I do, I compensate. Like today, I had this drink. Um, it was a coffee drink, really nice. It was sort of like the one I made on this show a couple of weeks ago. I think I added too much of the powder mix stuff, and it was too sweet. So I've got to think now... Okay, tomorrow, maybe less sugar. Because I did that today. Not because I'm um, not kind to myself. Because I am kind to myself. I don't want just to develop this now new taste for more and more sugar. I just want to keep it down a bit. So I think I'll be mindful of that tomorrow. I'll be careful they don't have as much. That's okay. I can do that. I'm in charge. And so rather than letting food happen to me, I choose in advance. Okay, tomorrow. In fact, I just chose that right now on the show. I didn't think of that before I got on here. Um, I'm going to have a little less sugar. I think I can do that. Maybe I'll have... I only really have sugar in a cup of tea. Maybe I'll have tea without sugar tomorrow. It's not a big, not a big thing. So each day, you're looking at each day. You're looking at each meal and you're thinking, okay... Don't think, oh, I'm, that was a really good meal. I really like this. I'm going to have seconds. You might not need seconds. So um, enjoy every mouthful. This actually is a really good foundation for, um, for getting to know what your body actually needs and how much. Enjoy every mouthful. Savor every mouthful. And if you do that, you'll find... Um, you'll appreciate the food more. You'll feel less entitled to it. Um, you don't expect, don't anticipate, oh, I'm going to need all that, that big plateful. Enjoy every mouthful. You might find you don't need that big plateful. You might need less. So let's look at that this week. That's the theme. Enjoy every mouthful. 
savor your food enjoy it so thank you again for joining me on a spot of positivity talk to you soon